Hello, welcome. In this video, we're, we're looking at these examples here where we're looking at the future value of money. So let's, let's get started. Number one says, we deposit $5,000. So take 5,000, that's our present value. Compound it yearly or four years with an annual rate of 12%. So we're gonna multiply it by one plus 12%. That happens every year for four years, and that will give us the future value of our money. So let's look at that. So 5,000 times 1 plus 0.12 to the fourth is $7,867.60. And we're going to round it to the nearest uh, penny. So we're going to write that down, 7867.60. That's the first one. The second one says we deposit $1,000 semi-annually now at 6%, so it's 0.06, but then we divide it by two because we don't give 6% at once, we give 3% twice, essentially, and then we do that for 10 years, and that's what we're looking at in the second one. So let's check it out. We have 1,000, okay, times one plus 0.06, divided by two to the power of, what was it, twice a year, times 10 years. $1,806.11, so 1806.11. Third one, we deposit $7,500, that's our present value, times one plus, it's at 8%, so 0.08. It's compounded monthly, so we divide it by 12. All right, 8% divided by 12 is how much you're getting each month. Eight times a year, uh, 12 times a year, because there are 12 months in a year, times 8 years. And that will get us our next future value. Let's take a look at that. So, sorry about that. 7,500 times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12 to the power of 12 times 8 years, 14,000. One hundred and ninety-three dollars and forty-three cents. Let me screen grab that. So there it is. Um, so that's going to equal one thousand fourteen thousand one hundred ninety-three dollars and forty-three cents. And that's the third one. And I think you see how this is going. Um, let's go to number four. We deposit three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Compounded weekly at 8%, so it's 1 plus 0.08. Weekly, there are 52 weeks in a year, so it's the 52nd power times 2. So 3850, so 3850 times 1 plus 0.08 divided by 52. So every single week, this money is going to be growing, to this, and then it's going to compound 52 times a year times 2 years. So that's uh, over $4,500, right? Let's put that exact value in. So to the nearest penny, 4517.46. And then our last one, number five. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, if you invest $1,000 now, okay, $1,000 now, and assume 6% interest compounded quarterly for 45 years, one plus 0 0.06 divided by four, Chose 45 years because uh, let's say you're about 18 right now. That'll, that'll bring you relatively close to retirement, about 63. We can look at what that would equal, just that one investment. So we take 1,000, multiply it by 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 4, right? Let me check. Uh, to the 45th power. Oh, to the power of 4 times 45 right here. So let me fix that. It's 4 times a year. For 45 years. So for that $1,000 you invest, you get $14,584.37. It's quite a bit, right? So $14,584.37. So that's a nice argument. You can think for every thousand you invest at that rate, you'd be getting that much.